have you ever woke up and wondered what was wrong with you? You knew you wanted to be elsewhere, that there was more to life than the life you were living, more than the bills you were paying, the job you were keeping. Look to the horizon, to the sunsets. Your answer is there. Put your feet on the ground and take a deep breath and step into the nomadic lifestyle. You will not regret it. <laughs> Hi! Yep, it's me. <laughs> In all my glory. And I know I look really different. And I look different for several reasons. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about this today. So go get your coffee, because I still have mine. And the thermal mug stays warmer that way. Go get your coffee, or your shot glass, for every time I say, just in. And I'll meet you back here in a minute. Hi. I know, right? It's been forever. Um, yeah, I know. I look really different, right? Let me get adjusted here. Yeah. I haven't made a video for so long, you guys. Jeez. Get that chair away from my desk. Anyway, <coughs> you'll notice a different setting here. <laughs> I'm actually in my new bedroom. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about today, hopefully. I did do a video uh, for you guys in... It will be coming up after the this video of the inside and the outside of my home. Yeah. Do you... Yeah. First of all, let's... Okay, let's talk about this change first. Uh, yeah, I found out that I... Yeah, I'm blind as a bat. Not only am I blind as a bat. I'm bifocals. But I just turned 60, so I shouldn't fuss. Um, second of all... Uh, I don't have a partial in. You'll know I don't have that beautiful, dazzling smile that I used to. I had to have a couple teeth pulled, and now I have to have a, a new plate made, partial. But you know what? Just, whatever. <laughs> Seriously. Um, and finally, yeah, my tickle. Um, it's a part of what's happened to me in the last six months. You guys, so much has happened in my world. You know, I was stuck in a studio, and I did my best to make that studio look really big. But the fact is, my bedroom is 100 square feet here. That studio was 125 square feet, you guys. Um, with kitchen and a bathroom and a living room, and your bed was in there. And I know that I made that look really big. <laughs> um, just saying, I, I did my best. Um, when my ex-husband walked in there, he said, Tammy, I would have never guessed how small this was by your videos or even by the pictures. So, at the end of this video, let me say that I'll post a couple pictures of the house. Uh, but the video of the house will be in the next couple videos. And maybe we'll talk a little more about what's going on in my world. First of all, my health. Um... My sinuses, since I moved out of that apartment, are amazing. Just saying. Um, I'm very healthy right now. I'm not in pain anymore. Um, they they put me on some stuff that's not a narcotic. Um, and it actually helps. I still get injections. So sometimes if I come on here and I look swollen, I probably had a, a shot in, in one of my joints, like my knee or my hip, my shoulders, get it, my thumbs. Um, yeah, that stuff kind of blows you up for a while. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> oh, take a shot. Um, before we get into all the change that's gone on in my life, I would like to, first of all, thank you for the, the amazing comment y'all left me. Yeah, I had like 900 comments, and you guys, out of all those comments... There were probably four that were mean. I guess the trolls just figured, oh, she's gone. No, I'm not gone. <laughs> I'm absolutely not gone. Um, I have been working. Um, 
well, I haven't been working since I bought the house because I just was too busy, you know, when you're scrubbing walls and uh, floors and cleaning the outside. I mean, yeah, I have a, I have a huge yard, you guys. I, I planted like 36 cactus <laughs> um, in the back. So, um, yeah, I haven't really worked. But the work I did do that I was using to get back out on the road was washing windows for new um, construction. That's how I was able to get this. I barely had that saved up, that $1,000. Um, do I still want to go back on the road? Absolutely. Absolutely. And and I'm looking for a blessing. You know, this house fell into my lap. And I know that the perfect van or Class B, you know, um, I don't want anything really big uh, will fall into my lap. Yeah, you know, I serve um, a mighty creator that has to do with this. It's another portion of my life that's totally changed, you guys. Um, no, I'm not Muslim. <laughs> I get that all, all the time because I wear a tickle. A tickle is a Jewish term, and that might be a hint. We're going to go into that. But in saying that, when I was in that apartment, I asked my creator, my father, please provide where you want me to be. And I think my biggest complaint about the glam mads and the scam mads is they get people my age and even older uh, and young people to give up their homes and go live full time permanently in, in the middle of nowhere, which guys, I love doing it. Um, it wasn't everything they said it was and it's really hard work. But it was something that I loved doing. I, I have a gypsy in me. I've told you that. But with that being said, I also gave up my home. I mean, if you went back, way back at the beginning of my videos, you can see me packing up my home. I gave up my home and, and everything with it. I had the most beautiful yard there. Um, I love yard work. I love gardening. Uh, you know, I mean, I could go on and on and on. But the fact is, is my biggest gripe with the glam mads is getting seniors to give up their homes, to buy vans or, you know, RVs, and usually old ones because seniors, us seniors can't afford the new stuff, most of us. Um, and and we, we, lose, we lose home. And, and you know, there's an old cliche, uh, yeah, Wizard of Oz. Um, that comes to mind and it's there's no place like home you know yeah I, I am getting back out on the road it will not be full-time uh, in the summertime I may I may be out there for two or three months um, it is hot here in Arizona and <laughs> I my home base my home my home you guys my home base is in Arizona and Arizona is very warm in the summertime I'm, I grew up in Phoenix, so born and raised Arizona girl, um, but it's still hot. <laughs> Old people were hot. <laughs> I mean, it's hot. So, yes, I'm still working to get out on the road, and I would still love to meet all of you out there. And um, I needed to take some time to myself. Um, and that's what this last six months have been, you guys is finding Tammy again. I lost me. I, I lost me. I lost me in, in the fantasy of, a, of the glam ads and the scam ads. I lost me in losing my home and everything that meant anything to me. I lost me and I needed to find me. I needed to find what was important to me. And what's important to me is having the ability to get in a, in a in a van or a class B and just go for weeks on end if I want knowing that I have a home that's paid off <laughs> it's paid off guys <laughs> that's all I gotta say you know <coughs> yeah it's paid off that amazes me you know when we talk about my creator during that time of, of trying to find myself, um, I found myself 
diving more into spiritu my spirituality, what I really believed in, um, how I believed, why I believed, and but all at the same time still praying to, to my Creator, my Father, my Yahweh. And, um, and, and I asked for His will in my life because obviously <laughs> having two um, RVs that both had serious, severe issues. Um, I was so sick for those two years, you guys. Uh, <clears throat> just really um, made me wonder if that was his will for me. And when he dropped this house in my lap for a thousand bucks, the roof don't even leak. You know, um, I had to accept the fact that maybe just maybe he wanted me permanently in one spot, a place that I could call home if I needed to. And that's how come I have a home. But that's also come how come I look different. Um, and I'll get into that. I'll get into that. But yeah, I still believe in, in God and Jesus. Um, I just walk a different walk. I believe now that modesty is important and I wasn't very modest but you know growing up a biker <laughs> and I did I grew up in a biker family it doesn't take the biker out of me I mean I'm still me I just um, I'm more careful about who I say what to now honesty yeah I'm honest as the day long and if I see somebody using somebody, hurting somebody, or causing somebody grief, I'm going to always step up. That's just who I am. And that's what the, the videos were all about, you guys. The videos were all about me stepping up and trying to protect others from falling into the trap of the glam ads and the scam ads. Just saying. So, yeah, now you know a little bit what's going on. Uh, I did have one lady ask about my smoking. The fact is, you guys, I I'm never going to stop. When they drop me in the ground, I'll quit smoking. Uh, yeah, my, my stats, my blood stats were 99. That's pretty good for a person who has smoked since they were 12. Um, please don't worry about my lungs, guys, because even if I got lung cancer, I still wouldn't quit smoking. You know, <laughs> I don't do drugs. I drink coffee and I have cigarettes. That's it. And I still don't pack, smoke a pack a day. So, and I've been smoking for years. Please don't worry about that. It's not really your concern. Just saying. Um, so, what, I get these letters about certain things. I know they're trolls. Just saying. When I get the comments about, true comments from you guys that go, we miss you. We want to know where you are. We want to know how you're doing. Are you okay? Those are the, the people who touched my heart to make these videos that I'm fixing to post in the next couple weeks. It was you guys who made me realize that not only did I touch you in some way, but you guys sincerely touched me in ways I, I can't even explain. Uh, you know, the world is so full of hate. It's so full of compromise users every every corner every corner you go around there's a con artist a rip-off artist a scam man a glam man I mean there's always somebody out there uh, willing to take advantage of you whether it's of your pocket or your time or your your feelings and it's really hard to find compassionate people but I've been really lucky I have a lot of compassionate people who watch my channel and with that being said I thank you you guys I do have another channel it's called coffee with Tammy I haven't made a video there either since I haven't made a video I in fact I posted the last video here and never did there um, this video is about not being ripped off of an RV I'm going to post probably about another four or five videos here, maybe six. But my primary channel will be Coffee with Tammy. Will I ever take this channel down? Not on your life. Am I seeking to, to be nomadic again? Yes, I am. Permanently? Full-time? Never. 
never. The same advice I gave you guys, don't give up your home. And this proved it to me. Don't give it up. If you want to get out there and be nomadic, do it for two weeks, a month, whatever, at a time. But always have that home base. Home base is so important. So I've already rambled on enough. I, mean, I have so many subjects I have to touch. Um, coffee. I love coffee. Um, I have so many areas I have to touch on. But I needed to make this video and get it out. I'm okay. I'm doing great. Um, my health is well. And you guys are always in my heart and in my prayers. And, and you can see my desktop is finally set up after two years. It has not been set up since I walked away from my home. I, my laptop is what I was using. And, and I don't like being on a laptop. But the fact is, my desktop is what I like. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here, and I gave you guys all an idea of, of what's going on in my world, and not only that, that I'm okay. And, you know, the tickles, these are called tickles, they, they shouldn't be too distracting from you guys, because I always wore do-rags. I still do wear do-rags. I just tend to cover all my hair. Just saying, we'll get into that in the video. Anyway, I pray you guys have a great day. I hope the creator of this world blesses you with everything your heart desires and I pray, I pray that he holds you strong in his arms. Remember to love yourself because if you don't love you nobody's going to love you. That's just a fact. Self love is so important. That's what makes us seek and find but also paying forward. Be nice to somebody out there who, who's sweating on the street corner right now. Give them a bottle of water. Buy them a soda at Circle K or 7-Eleven. Give them a dollar for a Coke. Um, pay it forward, guys. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. <laughs>